14th century French philosopher Jean Berardin proposed this scenario with a starving donkey. This donkey is in the middle of two bales of hay and is struggling to decide which one to go to. This donkey is paralyzed by the decision and eventually starves to death. Oftentimes, we act like Berardin's donkey when it comes to making a decision with things close to equal value. We overthink and stress about making the right choice and often don't make any decision at all. This video will give you some tips on how to stop overthinking everything and start making choices that will lead you to where you want to go. One thing you could do is flip a coin, and there's research to back this up. Researchers from Switzerland gave an example of someone deciding between one of two jobs. A high paying job at a prestigious firm that requires long hours, or a less stressful job at a less well-known firm that gives more flexibility. So the person flips a coin, and the coin flip tells them to take the high paying job. But they're disappointed by the outcome and wish the coin flip told them to take the other job. So they take the less prestigious, low paying job that offers more flexibility instead. The researcher's theory about this hypothetical outcome is that flipping a coin makes the consequences of a decision more real, and therefore makes one's feelings about the decision stronger. Once the coin flip has led to you deciding over one option over the other, you realize which outcome you wanted all along. So let's say you flip a coin, but the coin flip isn't that helpful and it doesn't reveal your true desire like in this example. If this is the case, keep this in mind. You can benefit from all your choices, even the wrong and foolish ones. If you really think about it, the reason you overthink decisions is the fear of making the wrong choice and that the wrong choice will lead to missing out on something or that wrong choice becomes something you can't recover from. But keep in mind that learning what's wrong can also help you to learn what's right. With our example from earlier of the person deciding between the high paying job with long hours versus the low paying job with more flexibility. Even if this person picked the high paying job, he would have gotten value from this wrong choice. You see, the only way he would have understood how valuable job flexibility is to him is when he had the job that took away his flexibility. Simply put, it was only through venturing down the wrong path where he understood which path was the right one for him. Try to take comfort in knowing that if your decision ends up being wrong or foolish, through that decision, you have the opportunity to learn which decision is right and wise. You'll be less likely to overthink a decision if you make a choice that's in line with your character and values and know that even if your choice isn't the best one, you'll still likely benefit and learn more than nervously standing around not making the decision. Another way to change your perspective and overthink less is to see your big picture. Many decisions you overthink have little or no impact to your big picture. For example, when I was 12, I went into a gas station to get candy for the movies. My family was cutting it close for the movie and I almost made us late deciding between regular Skittles and sour Skittles. It seems so silly to me now that I stressed over making a decision that was so trivial. What I've learned over the years is that if you're stuck in making a decision, stop and ask yourself if this choice you need to make will affect your big picture for your life. Oftentimes, it won't. And once you realize this, you'll be more likely to make a decision and move on with your life and devote your brain power to more important decisions. The quality of your life is rarely determined by one big decision, but rather small and repeated decisions chosen consistently that lead to good or bad habits that ultimately shape your life. Failing to make one right decision won't lead you to being a failure as a person. You can recover. So take the stress and pressure off yourself and don't be a donkey. Stop overthinking everything and start making some choices and learning from all of them. This is your friend Michael helping you to stop overthinking things and transform your thinking for the better. If you want to see more videos like these, consider subscribing today and looking for future videos that post on Mondays. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.